Hi, my name's Trent Brereton. I'm a naturopathic doctor in practice in Cranbrook, BC, and I'm here with Rico, who has bilateral knee pain, and we're going to do a Duralane injection in both his knees. On his left knee, we're going to do the suprapatellar pocket from the lateral portal, and on his right knee, we're going to do the parapatellar pocket from the medial side, which is midway up the patella. So let's start by scanning Rico's knee. We notice first off, there is no effusion. Let's increase the gain a little bit. Okay. And we are right there. All right, so what I'm looking for here is the suprapatellar pocket. And in Rico's case, it's very, very small and not super obvious, but it is there. And so we are looking at about two centimeters depth. And let's switch into short axis. And so I'm gonna to toe in a little bit, and I'm just gonna confirm in long axis that I'm in the right tissue plane. Right there, two, okay. All right, so for Rico, I'm gonna to have to inject quite close to the proximal end of the patella to be comfortable getting into the knee. If we go too far proximal up into the suprapatellar pocket, I'm concerned that we're going to just put the Duralane into fluid. Okay, Rico, here we go. You're gonna feel a small poke, so I'm towing in a little bit. That just opens up some extra space for me. I'm gonna come down two centimeters. One, two, little poke here. Gonna feel some pressure as I inject the local, tender, and there's the, there's our needle right there. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit of fluid just to see if I can bulk up that space a bit. How are you doing, Rico? Good, very good. Okay. There we are, right there. And I'm gonna reorient my needle. You okay? Yes. Okay, you can see it filling right there. And I'm right just at the top end of that space. Okay, I'm happy with that. Touch of the needle, this should be numb. You still good? Yes. A little bit uncomfortable, hey? This is because I'm right close to the proximal end of, see how I came a little low there and I was up against the lateral condyle of the femur and that's what caused him some discomfort. So now I'm in long axis and you can see the tip of the needle is right there. I'm injecting right now and it's important to always inject in long axis when you're injecting with the suprapatellar pocket because in this position you can see fluid accumulating if it's not flowing into the joint. And I'm pressing, are you okay? Yeah. Uh, and all, there's no fluid accumulation there. There's the tip of the needle. There's absolutely none, which means all of it is just advancing into the knee joint. Okay, and as you get close to the bottom, make sure you bottom the syringe out. There we go. And we're there's the fluid pocket that accumulated. So now we can see the distended suprapatellar pocket now that we've put some fluid into it. So I was absolutely in the right cavity. We injected three milliliters of Duralane, which is a cross-linked hyaluronic acid that acts as a shock absorbing, anti-inflammatory, very slippery substance that is naturally found in knees. And as knees age or become diseased, the amount of hyaluronic acid decreases. So this is a, an injection to replace that hyaluronic acid. And patients can expect anywhere from a very poor result with no benefit to up to six, eight months of relief with a single Duralane injection.